I've had the fortuitous opportunity to build a river table, conference table, for the Entrepreneurial Center at the local Westminster College. A lot of big words there. I didn't go to Westminster though. I went to Pitt. So we're gonna put a huge panther kidding. What we're gonna do is take these slabs, which were donated by the university. They're quite pretty, they're walnut. And then we're gonna do this. Put them on my uber expensive flattening jig because this is why you pay the money for this jig. And we're gonna flatten them out and turn them and then we're gonna pour a river down the middle. Simple enough. Let's get to cleaning. We'll start on the part that's the most supported emotionally and physically. Let us make it as he does. I ordered a half inch plate of steel. They come in four by eights, so it weighs 500 pounds. We barely got it off the truck. I had to call the neighbor's forklift. So we're gonna cut it outside. So in all my brilliance while designing the metal shop, I put a 220 plug right around the corner here. So we're gonna try to <laughs> get the forklift back put the metal closer to where I can cut it outside with the plasma torch and uh, show the neighbors who daddy is. Like, like butter. This is top, top, top all time. It's gonna go the whole way through, huh? No, it won't. It'll bounce back up. I doubt, I don't think it's on a water jet. It'll just bounce. Yeah, much better. Safety, third. We're grounded, we're green, we're ready for the machine. Ron, why didn't you do this in the first place? Because I'm an idiot. Where? Oh boy. <laughs> Isn't these things are right there? Just having a fire in the hood. Safety third when you're working with plasma. Oh, baby. I definitely don't want to do that myself. It's so thick, yeah. It's so thick. It's so thick. This is where making furniture and designing things gets freaky deaky. My concept for the base was to use C-channel to make it look like angle iron, or excuse me, like I-beams. Because I love I-beams. Because I-beams rule. This accomplishes that. I wanted to add some sort of truss into it in order to kind of give it some more visual interest. I had to change the design and the client signed off on my design change, but like, Man, I can't get over how much I like that. So, I wanna know, leave me a comment down below. How would you guys do it? Would you use the stretcher across or no stretcher? Now remember, there's gonna be two of them. It'll look just like that, going across. All right, everything's squared, tacked, proper. It only took two hours. Let's burn it in. If you're welding large projects like this, it's a good habit to not put all the heat in one spot at a time. So you saw I just did this gorgeous whale here. Oh, it's beautiful. Now I'm gonna go across the piece and then I'll come back and I'll bounce around and try to keep the heat from just being centralized in one spot, keep stuff from warping. Pro tip! I 
do need more freedom. Oh! Ooh, when did this get here? It showed up yesterday. The new, uh, what is this, the 3350? This thing is sharp. This is comfy as hell. And it's got grind mode. Bleep, bleep. And if you love it, you can get yourself one, save 50 bucks. I got a link down below. <laughs> Friends, complete. I hate the rust or I'd leave it raw. So we're taking it to powder coating. None! You've worked magic on a lot shittier stuff I've made. Put it down. Oh, let's go. You still got it. Got this too much of an angle. I always love how chipper people are when you just drop off the heaviest stuff. You're like, hey, dude, this doesn't weigh as much as last time. The the damn black rifle bases were harder to powder coat than those. Those are like all flat surfaces. The black rifle things had like yeah, so tubes and interiors to the depot. We're at my second home. The depot. Oh, there's just so many choices for blowing. Well, uh, my muscles hurt. <laughs> push, tiny man, push! We don't have a table, so we're building a table. Kind of. The mold's dry. Let that sit overnight. Against all of my impatientness. So, what we're gonna do now is mix up the epoxy. Eco Epoxy hooked it up with some of their deep pour liquid plastic. Um, this should work perfectly. Um, we've got 60 liters of it, which costs in excess of one million dollars. Yeah, we're gonna mix this up and get this thing poured. This gotta sit for like three or four days. Um, no, no mystery here. This is what you see all the Canadians do on the internet. Never done these colors before. I'm assuming like half a tablespoon could get us a good color. You don't want it to be transparent. Showtime. One eternity later. Twelve seconds later. Two thousand years later. It's 23 degrees in here. Let's get this thing unmolded. River. I, 
I don't have enough meat. This mother sucker's too big to do anything in my shop, so we're gonna go bum off the dudes next door. Say hello, you're on TV now. At Standard and Custom, I got a five by 10 CNC. We're gonna haul this thing across the street. Yeah, so we gotta, yeah. Okay, I'm on, you're on. Yes. Are you going shoulder height? I don't think so, man. Team sports. All right. Okay. Oh, nice. That could have been way worse. Ugh. So we got this pig on the CNC. What we're going to do is flatten the bottom and then flip it over, flatten the top. Fingers crossed. Uh, these guys showed me how to work the machine. This thing is insane. Like, like. Side one went pretty damn good. I think we got our bearings down. Now let's flip this thing over and get the finish, the top, the, the intended top. Milled that, milled that. So we're still at the neighbor's shop. I'm gonna get it sanded down um, and then prepped for finish. We're gonna let us use their spray booth because they actually have a real shop and aren't a bunch of clowns like myself and Sam here. This part's not fun. So uh, I'll see you when I'm done. What flavor is it? Chemicals. Yep. <laughs> yep, you're gonna die. We got the table out of the back of the sh their shop onto this rolling table so we can put it in that spray booth. And the shop owner, Phil, had a brilliant idea. Phil! <laughs> so tell me what you were thinking here, a chamfer? I think something cool on the edge will play up the, the Make, drama of the table. Ooh. Yeah, that'll soften the edge a bit too, so that way people aren't breaking themselves on it. Lightness. So we'll use uh, your panel saw, right? You don't mind. Yes. This behemoth is something I don't have. Our German friend. Our German friend. Well, I need you to show me how to do it because yeah. I've never used one of those. Indoor drones, panel saws, five foot table, 10 foot table. My three. So after a series of unfortunate events, the fan in our neighbor's shop overheated for their spray booth. So we're back in our shop, and now it is time to get squirrely. Let us spray. It's seven o'clock and we're losing our minds. 
The table is sprayed, but we're fine. Nothing's broken thus far. We're grabbing a couple of the goons from the football team because they're my people. And we're gonna move this thing in and hopefully don't break anything. Don't step on that. We're gonna pick it up. Sure as hell rain. It's not that bad. It's just big. If you don't fit through the door, just take it slow and switch. Yeah, exactly. This is Eric with Westminster. Just wait to say hi. And this is Kyle with Mental Tree. They're the guys who donated the slabs, and then Eric's the one who made this whole thing happen. So we're gonna open up this slab and actually show them what we got here. So big thank you to all of you for checking out this video. This project was a blast. Huge thanks goes out to Westminster College, not only for giving me the opportunity, but for introducing me to this guy over at Mitchell Tree Lumber. Uh, donated some phenomenal slabs. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I'll have links for everything you guys need if you wanna check out any of it down below. Also big thanks to our sponsors on this build, Woodcraft and Ecopoxy. If you need any of these products or want any of these products, I've got all that linked. And lastly, if you're gonna build a table, make sure it's epic punch it in the face.